and good morning. Again, I I woke up not that early. Well, actually, I woke up a little bit earlier, but I didn't want to get up. I was just lying in bed and I don't know, thinking about something. <laughs> Well, time to have some breakfast. I have the rest of my lemon. I'll squeeze it in my glass. Also, I have my morning, how to say, granola. <laughs> Soaking. Also, I have grapes, two apples, Banana, left from yesterday, and some dried papaya. I'll add it in my bowl, and I'll try to squeeze one orange to make some juice. Sunshine to everyone. Okay, I'm, um, I'm thinking about my lunch and it's my yesterday zucchini pasta salad. I added two, fre two fresh cucumbers and I'll finish my olive paste with almonds. Oh yeah, it's heaven. <laughs> And a bit, about maybe quarter of an apple with cinnamon. So good appetite to me. I finished my salad, although I wasn't that hungry at all. Now I'm gonna eat my quarter of an apple with cinnamon and time to go. Okay, we're sitting in Boulangerie and I ordered the tea that I don't know what it's from. Well, I know it's in Russian, but not in English. I'll show you the photos, maybe you'll understand. <laughs> and if you know the meaning of this, please write down and comment below and let me know. I will know too. Well, this is nice tea with the pear and mm -hmm. pinch of mint. And I'm eating my sun filled mango bar say hi <laughs> i work all the time and I like uh but what it allows me to do by not being in the studio so much now i, I haven't i haven't done anything in the studio this year except pair music for dj and chop up songs and make edits i've made i've created a song this whole year which is uh yeah it's a really quiet year but i've been doing other things like crazy and super busy and it allows me to do other things and being in the studio is if one considers it for a career, you have to keep in mind that to do it properly, you can't do anything else. I spent years where I would work, I would get up in the morning already thinking about the, the record, the album, the song, whatever I'm working on, thinking, thinking, thinking. And I go in the bathroom, I take a shower, and I'm thinking. I've got a notepad by me by the sink, I haven't got dressed yet, I'm making notes. I had a studio in my house in Hollywood on the top of them. It was a dream come true eventually, like the last 12 years I did it full time. This house on top of the hills next to the Hollywood sign. Uh, like a like an evil villain's lair in a movie, and uh, and I could barely afford it. I had to lie to the bank about the money I had to get it. It wasn't like I was like, oh look, I'm like a hip hop guy with all this money. It was I barely pulled it off, but we pulled it off. And uh, and uh, I would go downstairs, and I'd be eating, thinking about the record, and I'd go in the studio before anybody would get there, and I'd prepare. I listened to yesterday's work. I'd prepare the day's work before anybody got there, and so I lived like this for for twenty over twenty years that I was in an Uber car to go to Gatwick to, to take the night plane here at 11 o'clock. And I was in the, in the car driving across the city and to the train station with all my luggage and crap. And I'm like, wow, oh, that reminds me. I was talking with James Blunt about it. And so I sent him a text. I said, hey, James, are you, uh, uh, I'm in a car on my way to the train station to go to Gatwick. You around? 
He's like, yeah, sure am. He's like, you want to have tea? He's like, yeah, swing by. So I go, I just made the Uber go over to his house, went there and I said, hey, we're doing this thing for the, the 60s band. We should do something with your second record that I produced because uh, it's going to be 10 years old next year. He said, great, we'll make a coffee table book out of that. And then we talked about making, he's at a point in his career where uh, he's made four albums. I made three of his four albums. Uh, I made the, and the, uh, the third one that I didn't make was the least popular. That's, that is me bragging. Uh, the only time I'll brag, and it's not, it's not actually a brag, every career goes up and down. It's just, it's like a politician taking credit for something that they don't take credit for, so I can't take credit. But anyway, his fourth record is really popular, so now he's been working for a long time on his fifth record. And, and evening. I'm home, finally. Um, I'll show you a little piece of my today's lecture. Well, actually, the famous music producer, Tom Rothrock came. You can see it on the video. <laughs> um, he was talking about how he got that famous, what he was doing, and what we should do to be that successful. So it was a nice evening and then I get back to my ride home in my native town and I bought a pack of cookies, chocolate, I don't know, but I ate it without pleasure. I just ate it just because I bought it, you know. Well, uh, also I... I have one apple and a huge package of grapes left. Should have eat that then cookies. Well, it's okay. Right? It's okay. It's okay. And I'm going to sleep. I'm wishing you all the best. Have a nice day. Have a nice life. And don't forget to smile and click on the link below and subscribe and comment see you tomorrow bye